welcome back to strength of material lectures by civil thinking and i am back with another lecture on center of gravity and moment of inertia in this lecture we are going to learn the following things moment of area is also known as first moment of area secondly moment of inertia it's also known as second moment of area radius of gyration and polar moment of inertia so let's begin with moment of area or first moment of area moment of area is also known as first moment of area so to understand what exactly is moment of area or first moment of area to understand it we have to draw a diagram consider this 2d area whose total area is a and let us consider two axes this is x axis and this is y axis these two are known as axes of reference because we are going to find the moment of this area about these two axes now the first moment of area is mx means moment of the whole area with respect to the x axis okay mx means with respect to the x axis is equal to area multiplied by perpendicular distance now let us assume this is the centroid or center of gravity of this area and we denote it with g then the distance between this centroid and the x axis is y now mx is area area is a and what is the distance from x axis is y so this is a multiplied by y this is the first moment of area or just moment of area but about x axis right similarly i can write here my which is again area multiplied by distance now let's say distance between the centroid and the y axis is x then my is equal to a multiplied by x this is about y axis now this is known as moment of area or first moment of area about the y axis so we have covered the first one moment of area or first moment of area now let's talk about moment of inertia moment of inertia is also known as second moment of area okay now here is moment about y axis it is a multiplied by y right now if i again multiply it with y it is going to be a y square then this is known as sec second moment of area or moment of inertia okay we denote the moment of inertia with i okay similarly if we multiply again if we multiply moment of inertia about y axis with x again multiplied by x this is going to be ax square this is the second moment of area about the y axis and it is known as moment of inertia about the y axis okay so i can write here ix is moment of inertia about x axis and this moment of inertia is equal to a multiplied by y square and iy is moment of inertia 
about y axis and this is equal to a multiplied by x square okay so we have also understood what is moment of inertia or second moment of area now let us talk about radius of gyration now we have seen here i x is equal to a y square it means y square is equal to i x by a right it means y is equal to whole under root of i x divided by a okay this is the radius of gyration about x axis okay y is the radius radius of gyration about x axis because i x is moment of inertia about x axis this is the reason this y is known as radius of gyration about x axis radius of gyration okay i write in short about x axis now here we also know i y is a x square the same way we can find x square is i y divided by a it means x is equal to whole under root of i y divided by a now this is moment of inertia with respect to the y axis this is the reason this x is known as radius of gyration about y axis okay or we also called it as radius of gyration with respect to the y axis so here we go we have also understood radius of gyration now let's talk about polar moment of inertia consider the same area again and consider the two axes and now we will consider another axis perpendicular to this area something like this okay let this be z axis we know this is area a right let this be the cent centroid or the center of gravity and the distance of this center of gravity or centroid from the z axis okay from the axis perpendicular to this area as you can see here z axis is perpendicular to this area right if you see this is perpendicular and the distance between these two let the distance be z then polar moment of inertia is equal to a multiplied by z square okay or a z square polar moment of inertia is denoted with j or it can be also denoted by i z right because we are finding moment of inertia with respect to z axis but keep in mind this is very important the z axis is perpendicular to the area right so we have also completed the polar moment of inertia now if you want pdf of this lecture please look in the description or in the comments you can download the pdf from there also if you need tutoring in strength of materials mechanics of materials or mechanics of solids please contact me for that and also if you have any problems if you need help in any problems please contact me i will definitely help you in providing the solution of those problems okay and that's it for today see you in the next class thank you